Hey, good morning. Uh, today is uh, bicycle uh, path day, talking about different types of bicycling paths, some of the laws that are involved with uh, moving around town. Uh, if you're going to watch my video, I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe to the subscribe button on the front there. If you have any questions, uh, give me a holler. I'll respond. I uh, have my phone with me 24 7 and uh, I'll respond to your questions at all times. But here in Eugene, Oregon, uh, years ago, they put forth uh, tax dollars to build uh, bike trails. And I'm not sure how that all worked, but it's, it's a unique uh, opportunity. Behind me, you can see this really wide uh, multi-use bike trail. Uh, some people say it's a walking trail, which it is. It's both uh, walking and biking. And the, uh, the right of way is to whoever's the fastest. So if you're passing somebody walking, you pass them on the left. And you want to let them know that you're passing them. If you're passing a slower cyclist, you pass them on the left, typically. Just like driving a car. It's like a small motorway. So uh, I'll get some more video here in a little bit, talking about stop signs and, and driving through stop signs. Uh, and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hey, it's Big Dave again. A lot of part of this video. If you're ever out riding and you run across one of these uh, symbols painted on the ground, uh, not on a sign, but on the asphalt, this, this symbol is actually very large. Uh, this roadway is a designated cycle, kind of a quasi-cycle path. Um, not psychopath, but cycle path. And uh, in a lot of cities where you see this logo or this icon on the road, which means cycling, a lot of times the speed limit is 18 miles an hour. And I can't remember what 18 means. I think it has something to do with the average speed that most cyclists ride. So if you're out riding, you see this on the road, you know you're probably in a really quiet area. Where there isn't a whole lot of traffic um it is part of the the bike lane system here in eugene here's an example of really good signage showing the cyclist where they're going where the bike route's going um, some other signs you'll see also have mileage but this is a really cool one here in eugene that road i was on a minute ago with the symbols is right there it transitions into a cycle path a, a dedicated path, bike path uh, pedestrian path. FYI. I think I want to touch on that uh, a lot of people run into when they're riding a lot of trying to get fit and lose weight is they're concerned about riding on the roads and that's totally cons a consideration. Uh, some roads in most towns are so heavily traveled by cars I wouldn't even mess with them but luckily most towns of any size have some sort of a bike trail system and the city should have a mapping of that trails. Uh, which is really uh, effective and helpful as far as moving around the towns you live in. But one of the things I wanted to touch on also in, in Oregon is the uh, bicycle stop law that changed, I believe, about a year ago. When you're riding a bike and you're going through an area that has a lot of stop signs, the hardest thing to do is stop, 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 start, stop, stop, start, you know, all that like a car does. And one of the things they allowed uh, cyclists to do is to roll through uh, stop signs. So check your local ordinances and uh, see if that's an option for you in the town that you live in. But have a great day. Like I said, subscribe if you get a chance. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.